this anterior course is for anyone really, whether or not you're a few years out or you're many years out. It was so inspiring and lecture seeing what Dr. Lincoln and what Dr. Angela can do. We had the two days of lectures and then the two days hands-on. The best part of it was obviously getting the knowledge that we learned in the first two days and actually applying it in the sim labs and doing the preparations. I think Lincoln was good. Uh, he calls a spade a spade quite clearly and that's very entertaining and very refreshing and he's clearly done it all and experienced it all. What is the hardest thing to do in dentistry? sitting in the front row and getting asked questions. <laughs> what is the hardest thing to do in dentistry? It's to think. It is to think. I think it's different watching Lincoln in action really. You actually see his hand movement and pressure to develop the surface texture as opposed to say reading about it in a book or um, watching it on YouTube. Angelo, I've been very impressed with his work that I've seen and I was just terribly interested to see him and hear how he does what he does. It was fascinating. I have engineered my career to lead me down this path and now my practice is almost exclusively elective restorative procedures which are focused on aesthetic rehabilitations. And I found out everything the hard way. Uh, over 20 years, I've learned through a lot of failures. They've been sharing what issues they have or problems they have. It's reassuring because you see everybody has had failures. The lecture by Angela, such an in-depth introduction to digital smile design and his technique of smile analysis, that really did blow me away. Shade selection is something that I've struggled with. Both Angelo and Lincoln went through quite a few ways to systematically get a good shade. The hands-on experience for me was really great because it just solidified everything, gave us lots of feedback. Link said, don't go push if you put it on your crown prep, go in and take 16 seconds to reduce eight teeth versus I think normally it would take you two hours. He's very, very honest. You're not going to get sugar coating. He challenged us, he corrected us that we needed it, he complimented the work that was good. For me, that was invaluable. Just so from a whole new world for me. There's a whole variety of crown preps which I didn't realize were out there. Crown shells and minimum prep crowns. What helped me the most was learning how to develop quickly that shape and contour and uh, embrasures and a natural emergence profile. The biggest aha moment for me was using the one-step composite that was heated to do veneers or a quick mock-up and then being able to use them as provisionals. So I can't believe how easy it is now. I'd pay him to be a stand-up comedian and go watch him. He's really funny. <laughs>